Hey, what's up, everybody? Week number 12 of the Darkest Dungeon playthrough. And last session was actually really good. We got uh, weapons smithing up to level 3. Uh, man, it's, it's going really good. We got our skills upgraded to level 3. We are kicking butt. And this is going to be our first run into one of the new areas. Uh, I've been doing the cove for the past couple of runs. But I want to do this apprentice... Uh, so I think the apprentice is in, yeah, the ruins. That's the goal. I want to do him next. But first, I have a couple of things that I need to take care of. I need to get rid of a couple diseases on Shemgra and on Scarlet. So they are going to sit this run out. I'm going to try to strategically do this. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to put them into the asylum. Well, I'm sorry, the sanitarium. And we're going to get rid of this tetanus that Shem has. And we're also going to get rid of this uh, hysterical blindness funk that uh, Scarlet has. Now they'll be sitting out this time, obviously. Uh, really nothing else to do. I don't have any currency to upgrade everything because I've already done it. Uh, there's, there's no new heroes. And in fact, what I'm going to do is uh, I've been kind of debating on this since I haven't played in a couple of days. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and just uh, dismiss all of my level zero heroes. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get penalized for that or anything like that. So if you guys could let me know in the comments section down below if it's okay for me to get rid of all of these level zero heroes. They're zeros, man. I don't want them. You know what I mean? So I need to upgrade my armor smith to level two before I can start getting level two characters as heroes, basically from the wagon. So there you go. I've got rid of all of them. So I've got all level ones now. So we're going to take, uh, we're going to take Barry in this time. There, uh, Barian's going to be our damage doer, but there's really nothing else uh, that we can do. Oh, and I got this blueprint last time too. That was really nice. That was a, a really rare drop, but of course I have nowhere near the, uh, the shields or the deeds or the portraits or anything like that. I mean, it's just, that's just cra crazy amounts of uh, those special town items that you need. What the heck are those things called again? Heirlooms or something? Yeah, heirlooms. So let's go ahead and embark on a mission. We had a really good run last time, though. I'm really happy. So we're going to go into the Warrens this time. Haven't been into the Warrens yet. Uh, last time we did our first camp, which was cool. I expanded my inventory. So my inventory is 32 spots now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add a couple of these uh, trinkets to my hero. So I'm gonna run. Uh, I guess we're gonna run Scarlet the second. I think she's got healing and everything that I need. So yep, yeah, she sure does. So we'll run Scarlet the second in our third spot, and then we'll go with Barian in spot number two. So Donk. Donk the second, or is it uh, Donk the first? Yeah, Donk the first should actually should level this time. So Donk should be level three. And that'll be nice. Start to get some level three characters up there. But I don't know what's going to happen with this apprentice. I mean, hell, I could just die next time. I mean, I, I could, but that's the chance that I take. All right, let's see what kind of trinkets I got. I guess I should just put them on a hero anyway so I need something for Scarlet the second wow that's nice dodge Barian doesn't have anything huh I guess I'll give him the marbles ah it's antiquarian only well that sucks well this is all class only shit I don't need it I should just go ahead and sell it that's what I should do yeah, I guess. So I have no clue about this. The Warrens, I can't remember. I think the Warrens was the first thing that I did. 
And then I think I went into the ruins and I stayed in the ruins for a while. And then I did the, the cove. And then the wield. I, I think I did the wield a couple times and now there's like this level 3 quest. A short level 3 quest, which I might be able to bust that thing out. Alright, we're going to go into the warrens this time though. Let's go ahead and stop uh, dicking around. Let's get in there. I got 18 grand, which is pretty nice. I think everything is okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and get provision. So this is a short one. And as you guys can see, I expanded my inventory, which that was just, I'm so glad that I did that. So get a couple of those. So I guess I'm going to need medicinal herbs. So I'm going to get a couple more of those and then I'm going to get my torches and I think we'll, we'll be set. Uh, I need a couple of keys by three. All right. So that's good. Spent about three, about 3000. Let's go. Let's head into the Warrens. Did I just go into the wrong place? Oh boy. This might not be good. I think, yeah, I think I'm in the right place. Uh -huh. All right, so we're moving. I like this background. Nice. A trap right off the bat. I didn't even see it. All right. A fortune waiting to be spent. Mm-hmm. Wow, that, that was right off the bat. I mean, I didn't even move two, two seconds. And, uh, wow. Got like carrying crawlers after me and shit. Oh, they do blight. Jeez. Thank goodness. Uh, I should go ahead and stun those guys. Okay, nice. So I think I will go ahead and I can only do this one time. So I guess I should just go ahead and go in and debuff all these guys. That worked pretty good for me last time. So I think I'm going to continue with my... Oh wow, that's really nice. So this guy's going to be dead. So I'm wondering if I should kill the drummer. I'm thinking I should probably kill the drummer. I'm going to try to finale him. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That was cool. Now I should be able to kill these guys. Yeah, of course I got one hit point left on them. I'm so glad that I'm dodging these though. This is the great thing about it here. All right. So I guess I should go ahead and, and just, uh, I do agree, Peel. That was nice. Hopefully I can keep these things stunned. That's really nice. But I got debuffed. Minus 40% damage. That's okay. Because she's not doing damage anyway. Alright, so I will go ahead and buff up now. Time to musk up. And like last time, I screwed around and got reinforcements, so I don't want to do that this time. That was not good. I was totally shocked about the reinforcements. I didn't even know that that actually was going to happen. But I'll tell you what, I'm kind of glad about that. So you don't kind of exploit that, you know what I mean? Which is kind of cool. All right, let's, let's hit these things. And then we'll wait for, for Barian to do this as well. So I'm really enjoying the game though. I, I really am. I just wish I had more. I wish I had more time to play this game. I really do. I just don't have enough time. All right, there we go. 
That's nice. You have found some things. What is this? A bone altar? What's going on with this thing? A dark altar with skulls prominently on display. A strange power can be felt with its presence. So I'm thinking, is this thing holy water? Because, I mean, it is a dull, dark altar. I don't have any holy water, though. So, I mean, what should I do? I mean, should I open it up or... Or should I not open it up, or or what? I, I just I just don't know. I don't know. I haven't seen one of these yet, so I might as well go ahead. Oh, was that that? Oh wow! Holy cow! Okay, so it's only one round, but fifteen percent damage until I camp. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. So I know that the dark altar is pretty good. That was a that was a guess. So, all right, let's go on. Oh, and I get and I get a little bit of a scout too. All right, let's go. I got an encounter. Well, hopefully I can get this encounter. Oh, look at that! Wow. So I'll get all this all this good stuff, and I got bleeders here. This is not this is not what I want. All right, so let's let's buff up. We'll buff up and then we'll finale. Yeah, that's that's absolutely crazy damage. I'm still buffed up. That's cool. Uh oh. I'm gonna stun this bitch in the back. Hopefully. There we go. So I guess I will go ahead and go in and debuff these guys. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is game over already. I might as well just go ahead and heal the party. Oh, bleeding. Oh, resistive. Thank you. Oh, wow. There's two things. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. 38 crit. Are you kidding me? I think that's the most damage I've ever done. That's good. All right. That's good. That's good. Now I got a couple of curios here. Oh, wow. Very nice. Books don't burn them. Cause remember, I burned them a couple of uh, a couple of runs ago, and then I think I got some kind of like disease or some shit like that, didn't I? All right, so I'm scouting again, which is a good thing. Okay, let's let's head here. I like this, just a straight shot. I got a curio here. Occult scrawlings. Scrawlings written on what looks to be stretched in tanned human flesh. Hmm. So what do you guys think? I don't know. Everything is like holy water to me when it when it's a cult, but I don't know. Let's I guess I guess we could probably just go ahead and, and try it. Sure, let's try this. Photomania. So what is that? Is that a quirk? Okay. Alright, so it gave me a new quirk. That's cool. So I think I got a trap now. Barian, you better better get that. Okay, well, that wasn't that long, actually. Probably do a couple. All right. So let's see. Let's move here. I got two curios. I got a fight now. Okay, cool.
time to musk up. Yeah, and thanks everybody, Joe and Wes and all you guys. Thanks for the uh, the tips as well. I, I really appreciate it. A lot of this stuff I I don't know and I'm learning on the fly. So I'm trying to. Oh well, I'm not going to the wiki. I mean, I I already got the expanded inventory mod, so I I really didn't even want to do that. But yeah, this is just absolutely crazy inventory in here. Only 16 spots. This is not a whole lot. So I was like, screw it. I'll get one. I'll get one mod. So that was a pretty easy combat. All right. So I didn't do anything this. Okay. Let's get this. All right. There was nothing there. W opens this door. Thank you, West and Joe. Dude, look at all the meat hooks. I like that. Oh, good scouting. I think that's going to be a combat room. All right, so there's a trap right off the bat. Oh, come on, Dave. Why did I get close to that goddamn thing? I got a couple curios. Don't burn the books. Oh, here we go. Holy shit. That was 28. Should I do it again? So it looks like it's kind of random with the books. W again. Now I should have a fight here. Oh, wow. Four. And I surprised him, which is cool. That's really cool. Swine wretch. You swine wretch. Ooh. And they got buffed. Well, they're fixing to get debuffed. Hopefully. Oh, dodged it. Blood. That just sounds like it was going to bleed. Let's get rid of this bleed. And hopefully shout these things. Good. Alright. Oh, there we go. Finale. Oh. Uh, nope. Oh, no. He's fucking diseased. Are you kidding me? Oh. He's fucking diseases, man. Uh This is just not good, man. Ah, damn it, that really sucks. Really sucks. Because I can't take the fucking group that I want into the damn dungeon to do the apprentice. Because everybody keeps getting fucking diseased. God. This game is crazy. It's good. But come on. I guess it's probably tougher for newer players anyway. They don't have a lot of characters. Oh, wow. What was that? Jeez. Oh, she doesn't have the upgraded heal. That's right. Ugh. Oh, 
triumphant pride precipitate well dizzying fall. that sucked yeah that was that's a bummer man God damn it, that really sucks. Oh well, what is it? What has he got? Where's this disease at? Vertigo. 50% move resist. Well, you're gonna have to suffer with that. Alright, let's go to this battle room. I got an encounter. Right off the bat, I got an encounter. Ooh, I've never seen these guys up front. What are these? I'm gonna debuff these guys. I think that third creature, that Swine Slasher, I think that's the one that actually gave me a damn disease. Wow. I gotta get rid of this fucking bleed. Why did I not do that before? Come on, Dave. Tighten up, Dave. This isn't your first time playing this game. Sedated. I want to get rid of this. Because that diseased me. I like that effect. Ooh, he's got like a like a hook arm. It's pretty cool. Stun these guys. Come on, there it is. Come on, Baryon. Almost dead. Hmm, let's do a group heal. Nice. Only got, I think I only got, this is the last hall that I'm going through. Oh, what is that? Three stress per round for four rounds. Wow, that's that's pretty big. Now get over here, dude. And he dodged. Nice, nice dodge there, dude. Let's see if you can dodge at stun. Not. <laughs> Here we go. Stun him again. No. Oh. A dodge. Ah. Oh. I knew that was going to happen. It's all right. Come on, hit this guy at least, guys. I mean, seriously. Nineteen crit. That's nice. These nightmarish creatures can be felt. They can be beaten. Right. So it looks like I need to use this shovel. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. This pack has already been looted. Now I have a a fight in this room. And then this is it. Alright, I got another one of those. And I surprised him, which is pretty cool. Very cool. And I'm gonna debuff him. My oh, nice. And I'm going to stun these guys here. Stun that guy in the back, hopefully. There we go. Off to a good start. Drums of debilitation. Nice dodge. 
34 crit. Wanted to get rid of that guy. I already got one guy disease. Don't need another one. Wow. Wow, a nice, nice crit for Barian. Way to dodge it, Omi. Stun that drummer. Let's all just get an attack those guys. Not even messing around. I'm trying to kill these things as quick as possible. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want reinforcements to come on. Like last time, I didn't. I didn't know about the the reinforcements. So uh, now I know. There we go. So no no chest though. Well, that sucks. Okay, so I think I think we're done. Let me double check. We are double we are done. So let's go back to the Hamlet. I don't think this was too good of a run. Didn't get too many heirlooms. You could definitely tell a big difference in the amount of heirlooms you got between a short and a medium run. I mean, that was a that was a huge difference. All right, so Barian hit. No, Barian did not level. But Omi hit level three. Congratulations, you got a disease. Cove Scrounger. That was pretty cool. Weapon Tinker minus twenty percent upgrade cost. Wow. Ooh, what does this mean? Okay, so that means that replaced something. Hard Noggin, 15% stun resist. Soft. <laughs> Alright, that's cool. So we got three levels. I thought Donk was going to level. I guess not. Oh yeah, Donk did level. So now I've got five level three. Hear ye, hear ye. The town's a buzz again. Stress reduction activities in town are slightly less effective. All right, so Shem's done, Scarlet's done. All right. Donk's level three, let's check our stage coach. We got a level one bounty hunter. I guess that's pretty cool. So I guess I'll, I'll dismiss this level zero. I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing by dismissing these level zeros. I'm hoping. So what is this bounty hunter? What is what is it? Melee? Melee ranged ranged melee range. Wow, a good mix actually. A good mix of both melee and ranged. Not bad. Not bad at all. So let's check the blacksmith. I think we're a ways off. <laughs> yeah. We are definitely a ways off before we can get armor smithing up. All right. So I think next time, I think we're going to try the apprentice. I think I'm going to try to go in there and try to do something. So let's, let's sell a couple of these, uh, these trinkets. So I think next time we'll go with Shemgra, Scarlet, Omi and Donk. Or should I forego Omi and take Barian in there? I don't know. We'll have to see. But I would I would imagine that finale would be really nice to have if I could hit the apprentice. But I don't know, I've never done it before, so I'm not gonna watch any videos or read about it or anything. I'm just going in there and I'm just going to give it a try. But I, I think we'll go in there with with 
Omi, Scarlet, Shem, and, and Donk, and we'll we'll see how it goes. Hell, I could be down to no third level characters by the end of next session. We'll we'll see. I wonder if my characters die, do I lose their trinkets too? Or do the trinkets go back into the trinket inventory? I bet I bet you probably lose the trinkets. I bet that's what probably happens. So all right, so I'm going to go ahead and sell these trinkets that I don't need. I'm going to get rid of this Plague Doctor one. Yes, I want to sell it. I'll get rid of this Occultist. And I'll get rid of the Bag of Marbles. Common move skill chance. I guess minus one speed. Fuck, I don't care. This seems pretty decent. Speed stone at plus one speed. We'll give it to we'll give it to somebody next time. I'm probably selling all the wrong shit, but who cares? <laughs> it, uh, this is going to be a game of attrition anyway. I do like this though. No heroes in the graveyard yet, but I don't know. I'm going to do the I'm going to try the apprentice next time. I don't think this vertigo. Minus 50% move resist. I don't think that's going to affect him. But I'll put Omi in. I'll put him in the sanitarium after next time. All right. So that's going to be it for this episode. Really not much after the run itself. So thank you guys again. Let me know down in the comments section uh, about that. The combinations that I'm running. Or should I start expanding and trying the new classes? Eventually I'll, I'll have all the different classes at high level. But seeing that I don't really know the game, I'm, I'm trying to stick with the same same classes that I know. But I, my son tells me that the, what is the other tank? The man-at-arms? My son said the man-at-arms is really fun to have. So we'll see. All right, everybody. Have a good one. So until next time, happy gaming and keep it savage.